Okay, in today's video, I am going to take a few minutes to go over the law of reflection. Okay, here we go. The law of reflection. This is our mirror. The green line here is our mirror. And we have a ray that is coming in to the mirror. That ray, which is coming in to the mirror, has a very special name. It is called the incident ray ray. That is a ray of light that is coming into the mirror. It is striking the mirror right there, and we call that the incident ray. Now, the next thing is we want to draw what we were going to call the reflected ray, but whenever we have a problem like this, before we can draw the reflected ray, we have to draw a very special line, which we call the normal line. The normal line is perpendicular to the mirror. It makes a 90 degree angle with the mirror. Normal means perpendicular. So whenever you have a problem like this, you have the incident ray, you have the normal line, the normal line must be drawn so that it is perpendicular to the mirror. You're going to have to get out your protractor and draw that normal line perpendicular to the mirror. And you'll notice it is drawn so that it meets the mirror and the incident ray and the normal line all meet at one point right there. It's not drawn over here somewhere or over here somewhere. It's drawn right where the incident ray strikes the mirror. Then the next thing we have is this angle right here. This is a very special angle. It is between the normal line and the incident ray, so we call it the angle of incidence. You'll notice it is measured from the normal line to the ray, not, not, not from the mirror to the ray. Okay, now we're gonna measure this angle and we're gonna draw the reflected ray so that it reflects at the same angle relative to the normal line. So it is going to reflect off in this direction. I think you might understand that ahead of time somewhat conceptually, but we have to make sure, which we call that the reflected ray, we have to make sure that this angle the angle of incidence and this angle, which we call the angle of reflection, are equal. Okay, so now we have all the important parts and the concepts for that diagram. We have our mirror, we have our incident ray, our reflected ray, our angle of incidence, and our angle of reflection. And those angles are measured, always measured from the normal line to the ray, from the normal line to the ray. Once again, not from the mirror to the ray. Once again, not from the mirror to the ray. Always from the normal line to the ray. And you can see that the law of reflection is therefore that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. That's all there is to it. Whatever this angle is, that's the same angle. You measure it with your protractor. If it's 30 degrees on this side, it has to be 30 degrees on this side. If it's 70 degrees on this side, it has to be 70 degrees on this side. And you should be able to see that if some teacher was to give you the angle of reflection, then of course you could draw the incident ray and the angle of incidence because those would be equal to e each other e also, regardless of which side you're coming from. Okay? So that's all there is to it. That's the law of reflection. The two angles are equal. Please measure them from the normal line. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you found that helpful, you can give me a thumbs up in the comment or a thumbs up below or a comment in the comment section. Thank you and we will see you in the next video.